Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm here to share with you some of my recent uh, jewelry thrifting uh, here in Canada. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope that you'll watch this video and then subscribe. So first off, I did some bead thrifting because I make jewelry, and uh, this uh, is a set of glass beads with a bronze uh, coating. Um, I don't recognize the color of the tag. It looks like maybe a Darius uh, brand, but uh, the price was right. Um, uh, so very usable set of beads. Nice shiny, multifaceted. Um, the large ones are about the size of the end of uh, my finger, and the small ones are small, much smaller than the end of a uh, uh, pinky finger. Another set of beads I picked up at the same time, and this, oh, so this is a, a, a this has a tag that's the same. This is a Luna Nuova, which is not um, a company I'm familiar with. Uh, Hirschberg Schultz and Company from Warren, New Jersey, made in China. Uh, these are some more glass beads. I would say they're the same size. Um, as these copper colored ones, but these ones you can see have a, are, are clear glass with sort of a, uh, a brownish um, semi uh, translucent coating. So they look almost like spotted like uh, a leopard. Um, these I assume are also another uh, Luna Nuova, but uh, I can't say. They're just uh, two strands of uh, round faceted beads, sort of a little slightly flat in their style, but again, coordinating in the brown um, semi-translucent uh, coating as the previous ones. Uh, a second of the copper strands. These uh, huge glass pearls, um, four of them on a strand, that you can hear the glass. So this was all a coordinating set of beads. I'm not sure what someone's intention was, but a uh, very nice coordinating set. Here's a, a brown plastic stretchy bracelet already made. Um, those beads don't really go with the glass ones. And then in with those glass ones was part of a necklace, uh, antique bronze or uh, maybe even darker antique gold uh, bead caps, transparent glass beads on a chain. So combined with some of these other beads would make an interesting uh, necklace. And that's the first set of the brown beads. Um, then I'll just move these off to the side. Um, then there were a whole bunch of pearls, a bag of pearls for $2. I won't uh, show you all of them because there's a bunch of uh, repeats, but they're, these are all freshwater pearls that have been dyed. So here's a couple of strands of lovely uh, gold pearls, um, some smaller and some medium size gold pearls. These ones, smaller ones are a little bit darker. Um, again, some even darker brown um, dyed pearls. More of these small ones. Here's one that's got a bit of a flaw in it. More of the medium ones, all in little tiny sections. Um, so quite a nice variety of colors of these gold pearls. Um, I suppose you could coordinate them with these beads, but um, there's so many pearls that uh, it would be nice to highlight them with other beads that gave more contrast, I think. So there's one bag of the pearls. Now, each strand of these pearls would be probably a minimum of $10 Canadian. Um, well, actually, maybe there's two strands. So... Um, I, 
Yeah, I would say five to ten dollars Canadian, depending where you bought them and uh, whether you bought them on sale. Um, you wouldn't get them much cheaper than five dollars Canadian new. Um, these are essentially new to me on the strings or falling off the strings. They haven't been made into jewelry yet. So uh, for two dollars, that was um, a great deal. And there was another set of pearls. Oh, actually, this pat bag of pearls was only 99 cents. Oh, wait a minute. No, I was wrong. These bags of beads were all 99 cents, so a dollar. Um, so already, I mean, I had I couldn't pass these up, and I love working with pearls. These are, um, again, freshwater pearls, and they're, these particular design is usually called Heshi pearls, H-E-I. S-H-I, so I might be pronouncing it wrong. It might be Heishi. Um, I've actually never heard anybody pronounce it except as Heshi, but um, these have uh, small pearls in between them. They're a very odd shape, but they make a great um, highlight on a necklace. Uh, and so there was one, two, three... Four strands of those for um, 99 cents. This won't be a, uh, a very long video, but I hope you don't mind. If you're not really interested in these, well, then you've lucked out. This is, I'm going to have to uh, just sort of dump out the bag because this one bag of red beads, um, I did have my choice of beads that day. There were lots of shell beads um, that I didn't choose, and um, not sure what else. I can't remember. I remember there were some blues, but I have lots of blue glass beads. I picked this bag because it had bicone crystals in it. Um, these are about a uh, 10 millimeter, great for uh, making jewelry. I, I would say not not Swarovski, but still probably uh, Czechoslovakian, uh, modern made. Here's a, a slightly smaller size, probably a 5 millimeter. And then this bag was full of other red glass beads. And I'll just sort of, I dumped the bag, so there you can see, um, except for my mic stand. And I'll bring it back up and just give you an idea. Here's some Aurora Borealis um, round uh, 10 millimeter beads. So red with that coating that makes them sparkle. Um, some random ceramic beads. This one large uh, glass uh, oval donut, I guess you would call it. There are a, a few uh, purple shell beads in here in triangles. I won't pick them all out, but you can see um, there's a handful. And uh, they're a nice dyed purple color. They'll be uh, uh, quite useful. There's some odds. Uh, there's another ceramic one in gold. There's some uh, more of the Aurora Borealis sort of hanging out on their own. And then there are these, um, a variety of sizes of other red beads, teardrops, um, triangle, oh no, square, uh, rectangles, not squares, um, bicones. This is a glass bicone, not a crystal cut bicone. So you can see the difference that it's got sort of rounded edges. Um, so a few, yeah, a few of these teardrops, just a, a general assortment of other red beads, red glass beads. Um, there are a few black beads in here, um, sort of black seed beads, uh, some squares, 
Um, so, uh, you know, some long uh, tube beads. Oh, no, these aren't tubes. These are more like uh, little bits of crystal, uh, sorry, excuse me, coral that's cut to the center. So like little stick beads, I would call those. The odd per, uh, faux pearl. Um, these teardrops are are really valuable. They're harder to come by these days, um, or at least in a, an inexpensive way. Um, so a really nice set of beads, and maybe there's uh, oh, that's a piece of uh, looks like it's like a piece of broken tiger's eye. Um, so one, a couple more bags of things. Then I'm just going to uh, uh, roll these up. I'm going to resituate the camera, try not to make anybody dizzy. So there's the wealth of beads and all the pearls. Um, uh, this thrift store um, tends to have uh, interesting jewelry as well, and I just happened to be there on a day that they had um, lots of nice jewelry. Oh, one more bag of, of non-specific uh, things, I guess you would say. This is a bag of uh, pendants or embellishments, a metal leaf with uh, rhinestones on it. You can see the sparkle. A couple of heavy, what sound like ceramic be uh, leaves. Actually, there's three all together. Um, three of these. Uh, metal bright gold tone leaves with some plastic faceted teardrop and round uh, crystals added to them. So I'll take those all apart. I'm not sure if this is the way they were sold. I don't know what someone was making with them. And then in addition to the leaves, these two ceramic pendants with the lovely um, sort of mod square designs on them. So again, that uh, bag of metal pieces was all for 99 cents. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, one, two, three, yeah, five bags. So that was $5. And just excuse me, I have to take a quick drink. I have a bit of a dry throat today. I'm around a lot of people who are getting winter colds, even though it's only October. So um, Then I had my pick of jewelry. And this was the first item that I picked. It's a ceramic uh, brooch, handmade brooch. Um, it has been repaired at one point. There was a, uh, a break here, and it was glued, but it was only 99 cents. Um, and I thought it was just a, a unique brooch. I thought I would try to investigate what kind of style this was, like where it might have come from. Uh, you know, the headdress is very unique in its style. So this is more of a research piece for me than anything else. Then um, another 99-cent brooch. Here is a... Uh, cloisonne style fan brooch and these are always very pretty I know they're not a uh, high dollar value for reselling but I've seen more and more of them around and I um, sorry I've seen more of the more of them around online um, as people are getting them in jewelry uh, jars or, or jewelry lots and when I saw this one for a dollar I thought it was worth picking up again a C clasp on this one I don't think it's uh, particularly old, but I need to do some research on that. Then there was this little pin. I don't usually um, pick up this style, but sort of buried down in there, I saw the coral color and the turquoise color plastic beads, and I thought, wait a minute, I collect those sort of colors in jewelry? And this turns out to be um, I'm not sure you can see it here, right in there. 
it says coral. So this is um, uh, a coral pin. I think I've seen them called uh, coral blackamoor. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct name, but all the all the, the uh, stones are there. I think. Uh, it's possible I'm missing a stone down here. I'll have to look and see if it fell off in the bag. Um, so there might be a blue turquoise one missing. All the little pearls are there in the top. Um, it was $1.99. And if you've watched some of my other videos, uh, you'll know that I've been col lately collecting coral as I see it. Um, and if I collect it near home, rather than buying it um, online, the prices are really, really good. But I often don't find it at home. So, But when I do, I tend to pick it up. And then, there's one more piece. This is a large, uh, I don't know what design you would call it, strawburst, um, large gold tone pin and this was $3.99 but it's beautifully made and it's uh, marked here on the inside oops if I have it right side up here's the makers mark under the pin uh, Monet so 80s to 90s um, vintage but um, you know not terribly old but it's one of those things where you say, yeah, $4, yes, I'll get it. I I like the design, I would wear it, and um, it'll add to my Monet collection of jewelry. So, that's my uh, trip to Hamilton thrifting, and uh, one of my favorite uh, Salvation Army thrift stores because they have uh, more unusual jewelry when they have uh, lots of jewelry. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, bead and jewelry thrifting video. Like, subscribe, and share. And I hope I'll see you um, back again another day. Thanks very much.